Governor Andrew Cuomo at Berwequa College announced the South Bronx's winners of 12 downtown revitalization initiative projects totaling $10 million and speeding the way for the community's transformation into a civic center. This just more good news for the Bronx that experienced decades of decline, now with an economy that's soaring upward. When we started, the unemployment rate in the Bronx was 11%. This May, it's 4.7%, lowest level in 18 years. And now the Bronx is poised to surpass its peak population in 1970 of 1,471,701 residents, just 542 more than it is today. The projects include the expansion of the Andrew Friedman Home Cultural Arts Center, the creation of a public plaza at the 149th Street bid, and new streetscapes at the hub. It's going to expand arts and culture here. It's going to increase uh, broadband service, which we all need in this county. It's going to create that kind of environment so that people continue to live here, they want to educate their children here, and importantly, that people want to invest their money in this county. Solar power and enhanced lighting is coming to the Melrose Commons Gardens, as well as low-cost broadband. At Pregonis Theater, a modern, state-of-the-art rehearsal and performance space will replace a wooden building on Walton Avenue. This is personal for us, and it's personal for me. I'm born and raised in the Bronx, grew up Preston and Burnside. PS 79, 118, Dewey Clinton High School. This is our assembly district. This is the district that I live in right now. A Queens native, Cuomo, who talked about his commitment to seeing counties with historically depressed economies thrive, recalled his father's historical speech at the DNC on the tale of two cities, one that benefits the wealthy and powerful who live alongside the poor and less powerful, along with pushing for criminal justice reform at Rikers, improving the city's subway system, and providing free and low-cost college tuition, registering one point two million into Obamacare, the DRA grant awarded annually is his hope to further level the playing field. The full list of projects, including plans to transform the 161st Street subway station into a modern, attractive gateway into the Bronx with concrete medians to be replaced by plantings, can be found online. Some great news for the South Bronx when it comes to revitalization, but there is some work ahead when it comes to NYCHA. He announced plans to create an independent testing site where NYCHA parents can take their children to get tested for lead. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.